Hey everyone, wanted to share the blooms of my Hoya Kadata. These are the most unique looking blooms I've ever seen. There's a lot of fuzz around the corona or the outside petals. And it's kind of like pink tinged on the edges with a cream color in the middle with the pink in the middle. Also in the middle of the corona, the pink area, you can see that there's a little stringy bits sticking out. I'm not sure what those are, so if you know, please let me know. There's no scent I detect at the moment, but I'll try to continue to smell it to see if anything comes up. When it was about to bloom, the buds look really cute, like this one that hasn't opened up yet. They look like little peppermint candies or little peppermint candy lanterns. Some other peduncles are forming, which is also really exciting. I haven't posted the video yet, so showing the other flower that bloomed, which looks really nice. I gave it another whiff to see if it smelled like anything. It kind of smelled like plastic. So it probably took over a month for it to bloom. For care, I definitely wouldn't say I know the best way to care for it, but I'll share with you how I've been caring for it. As you can see, over two years and nine months, it's only grown this much, so I probably haven't been doing everything right, unless it's just a super slow grower. It's living in a chunky mix with cocoa chips, potting soil, and perlite, so pretty airy mix. I don't water it that often, probably like maybe once a month or so, which would depend on how much sun it's getting and how hot it is in your area. So basically watering it when it's dried out. It was in a north facing window for the longest time. And then I just moved it to off the side of a south facing window so it's not getting that much sun i have a grow light on it now but before it was just getting the north light northern light so that's probably why it hasn't been growing that quickly also sometimes in the summertime when we actually had heat in san francisco it would grow these really large leaves and sometimes it would just fall off maybe because i didn't water it as much as i should so maybe i let it dry out for too long instead of just watering it right when it got completely dry. It's always been living in ambient humidity. So I moved to a place where it's at least five degrees higher on average in temperature. So I think that's been actually contributing to additional growth and also the blooms, which is amazing. Another factor could be also that, you know, the last year or so I started giving it more fertilizer, so Dynagro Foliage Pro. I've been using a half teaspoon to every gallon and watering it with that every time I water it, and I'm pretty bad at watering it, so it's not getting that much fertilizer. But I've definitely noticed overall with my plants over the last couple months with a recent heat wave and just overall warmer weather that my plants have been growing faster here. So pretty obvious, but Hoyas definitely thrive in warmer temperature environments. So this is the next day. It looks like they only last maybe a few days. I might have missed when they actually bloomed. So I'm guessing a few days that they stay open. All right, hope you liked seeing my Hoya Kadata blooms and how I've been caring for this plant. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. Thanks for watching.